Well, happy Sabbath, everyone. That's great, Don. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Great, 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 great. It's a wonderful day out there, and spring is sprung. We're seeing a lot more of the trees opening, the bushes opening, and some flowers also. Glad everyone here can join us, especially we give thanks for those that are joining us by way of uh, the webcast that can't make it here in person or by the phone bridge. Many years ago, I read a book and listened to a tape by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale. It was entitled, The Power of Positive Thinking. He wrote about real people, people who meet the challenges with optimism, people who have found meaning in their work and growth in the relationship with God, who have not only discovered how to live, but how to live their lives. How? The joy in hope. The joy in hope. With this, they have also found the motivation to help someone else, not only themselves, but someone else. Allow me to inform you all today about a real story. This is by Elizabeth Haskey. Believe it or not, she lives in Greenwood, Indiana. And Elizabeth writes, this is about a 10-year-old daughter, Annie, who received a letter from a soldier. This was a school project that the teacher of her class gave to everyone. Annie worked hard. She drew a big picture, a red, a white, and a blue cat. On the bottom of the page, she's written, be safe and thank you. Annie's mom told her not to get her hopes up in receiving a response. Guess what? She received a letter and it was from a soldier. The soldier informed her about a mission he was on the week prior to the letter and his truck got struck by a bomb. He was injured in his arm and he needed two operations. He was feeling pretty sad. He didn't know what to do. While recuperating though, someone gave him a letter addressed U.S. Soldier. U.S. Soldier. He found a beautiful, beautiful handmade card by Annie. It brought a big smile to his face to know that there was a young girl in Indiana. Notice I said Indiana, a Hoosier, okay, took the time to wish someone luck to someone she didn't even know. Thank you, Annie. You really brighten my day. I hope I get a chance to write back soon. Take care, Scott. A few months later, passing, Annie received a package in the mail. She opened the package and there it was, a stuffed camel a little stuffed camel, and it was from the soldier. See, Mom? Annie stated after receiving the gift and the letter, it's all part of God's plan, the joy in hope, the joy in hope. Mom pulled Annie close to her and gave her a big kiss on the forehead. Sometimes moms forget 
that there are even bigger plans than her own. And there is a God with a plan. There is a God with a master plan. This brings me to, as I stated earlier, the joy in hope. The joy in hope. All of us need to wake up each day and have that joy in hope that has given, been given by God to each one of you. We have multiple blessings we are thankful for. And always remember, always remember that our Creator has that master plan. And you, and you, and you are part of that master plan. Now to realize this, join me in reviewing about Gideon, someone in the Bible. And we're going to be talking about Judges chapter 6. Our God loves all his children, and Gideon also had some rough times, as we know. And I enjoy reading about true stories where the underdog has an unlikeliness to be a hero or a heroine overcomes in the end. It is like when an unranked basketball team beats the national champions. For those sportsmen, I figured I'd throw that in there. But Gideon is a perfect example of an underdog. But God often chooses those who in the world have little expectations of so God can receive the glory from these situations in their lives. When an angel of the Lord came to Gideon and said, The Lord is with you. O mighty man of valor. And that's Judges 6, 12. This came during a time when Israel had fallen into disobedience. Judges 1, 1. And God had allowed the Mennonites to oppress them continually. Every time harvest time came, the Mennonites would come down from the hills and mountains and steal their harvest and their livestock. Israel was brought very low. They were brought to their knees. And the people of Israel cried out to help, help Lord, Judges 6.6. 6. So the Lord turned to him, Gideon, and said, Go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of the Midian. Have I not sent you? Have you not heard? And he said to him, Please, Lord, how can I save Israel? Behold, my clan is the weakest, the weakest in Melde and Mel. Well, it's all right. My brain's coming. Manasseh. And I am at least in my father's house. Judges 6, 14 and 15. Here is why the story is so hopeful and powerful. Gideon is the least of the clan. He is, in saying, the runt of the litter. He is in hiding when the angel of the Lord comes for him. But what does the Lord say? O mighty man of valor, and two go in this might of yours. You have to wonder if Gideon looked over his shoulder and thought, are you talking to me? The point is God sees what is before us. 
ever exist. He knows the future and speaks as if it already has happened. For God, it really is. God knew Gideon, tiny little force of 300 farmers and shepherds, could never destroy a camp of 135,000 seasoned, experienced, and well-trained Mennonites. These were soldiers ready to fight any day, any second. But with God, all things are possible, as we know it says in Matthew 19.26. So don't ever lose hope, even if odds look exceedingly hopeless. They would later say of Gideon, God has given into his hands Median and all its camps, Judges 7.14. So it was God's victory using Gideon as a tool, as an instrument, just as God uses each one of us as a tool and instrument each day. We must remember the joy and hope. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. You are a child of God. We are the family of God. And we will be with God for eternity. Shabbat Shalom.